Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the three easiest outfits in GTA 5 online. These outfits include the paramedic outfit, the new SWAT team outfit, and the juggernaut outfit. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all those in that order. And now just before we start the video, if you go on to enjoy this video, take two seconds to drop a like on it. That'd be awesome. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop us up. Join the Hacky army because we're trying to hit 35k by the end of the year and we're like extremely close to it. So if you guys want to help us get there, that would be absolutely amazing. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. If you need some help getting money for the new KO Perico Heist DLC, be sure to check out Digazani down below in the description. And to make it even cheaper, don't forget to use discount code HACKY for 5% off at checkout. Anyway though, let's get back into the video. So you guys will need a facility for this and you guys need the mission called Dead Courier. It's part of the data breaches, which is Act 1, so it should be pretty easy to unlock. So just go ahead and load up the setup called Dead Courier once again, and you guys need to have one friend to help you with this. So if you guys want to leave your gamer tags down below in the comment section if you guys want to help each other out or you need to find someone to do this with feel free to so just leave everything as it is and invite a friend so once you get to the outfit selection this is a hundred percent personal preference just pick whichever one you want to get so this one looks pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and get this one there's either a long sleeve green one or a short sleeve one and same thing with the blue one so so just pick whichever one you want to get and then just go ahead and ready up so once the mission loads up you guys want to go ahead and destroy this ambulance right here and then it's gonna say mission failed and once you guys get loaded into the sky you guys want to tell your friend to press restart so make sure you tell your friend to press restart right here and as soon as you guys see the orange loading circle on the bottom right you guys want to go ahead and disconnect your controller which i just did and you guys want to wait on this screen for like 20 to 30 seconds until you guys get loaded back into a session so it's been like 30 seconds i'm gonna go ahead and reconnect my controller and you should have no mini map just like me here if you have no mini map you know you did it exactly right and now you guys want to drive to the nearest ammunition store so once you guys make it to the nearest ammunition store you guys want to go in the gear section right here and make sure you guys equip the lcd earpiece and once you guys equip this earpiece you guys want to make sure you tell your friend to fully quit gta 5 so make sure he doesn't only go in like story mode or something like that make sure he fully quits the game and then once he fully quits the game you guys want to join pretty much any friend in another online session so i just got an invite from a friend and now i'm gonna go ahead and accept it and now you guys are loading in to another session so we just loaded back into an online session and as you guys can see we got the paramedic outfit now you guys can head to any clothing store and go ahead and save this outfit so you guys need the final heist board in the arcade for this if you guys don't know how to unlock it basically just do all the setups right here do all the prep work right here and then you guys will unlock the final heist board and make sure you guys have the exit disguise set to noose so this is a must so if you guys don't know how to do it basically just make sure you guys do the noose gear mission and then you guys will unlock the noose outfit as you exit disguise and you guys will need some sort of entry disguise it doesn't necessarily matter which one but some do take a little bit longer than others so i have the bug stars which actually take a long long time so i actually don't recommend you guys have the bug stars like me as your entry disguise so make sure you guys have some sort of other one although it's not the end of the world if you have this one like me it just takes a little bit longer so once you guys have all these make sure you guys go ahead and invite a friend and go ahead and start the heist so you guys just want to do the mission normally and then i'll get back to you guys once we get to the actual news outfit part all right so once you guys get to the laundry room right here just go to this little duffel bag and then put on the slot outfit and then pull up the interaction menu go into style and then you guys want to scroll through play your mood for about 15 seconds here And then once the 15 seconds are over, go down to illuminated clothing and you guys want to scroll through this for about 30 seconds. And once these 30 seconds are over, you want to go to your console's home screen and just sit there. Alright, and now go back into GTA and it should say kicked from session for being idle. That is perfect. And now you just want to spam A or X if you're on PS4 for a few seconds and then just wait till you get into session. All right, and now we're back in an online session and we should have the noose outfit on us now. Let's see if it worked. And as you guys can see, we have got the noose outfit in GTA 5 online. It looks absolutely sick. Uh, as you guys can see, I got a duffel bag on me. That's because I had a duffel bag in the mission. But you guys can just pull up the interaction menu, go into style and, and take it off. And now you guys can go and save this outfit. So you can go to any clothing store or ammunition store and go ahead and save this outfit. All right, so to start off, you guys want to head to any clothing store around the map. And you guys just want to have a simple outfit just like me here. So just select whichever pants and shoes you want. The t-shirt doesn't really matter because you're not actually going 
going to see it with the juggernaut outfit on and make sure you have no accessories on as well you're going to be able to put accessories after you have the juggernaut suit on now head into the top section and go all the way down to vests and you guys want to equip any one of these ones right here it doesn't really matter which one you equip because you're not actually going to see it with the juggernaut suit on so i'm just going to go ahead and equip this one and now you guys want to go into vest shirts and you want to equip the white band vest shirt right here it's actually going to give you invisible arms which is going to allow you to have the juggernaut suit on and this one isn't optional by the way you have to get this specific one right here once you guys have these head into the outfit section and go ahead and save this outfit in slot number one keep in mind it has to be in slot number one this is a crucial part so make sure you do save it in slot number one if you already have an outfit in this slot just move it on to another slot and now you guys want to back out of this and go all the way down to heist coveralls and make sure you go down to the last four and you want to equip any one of these last four right here i'm just going to go ahead and equip this one and then back out of this and now you want to head to the pier now once you make it to the pier you guys want to do the telescope glitch so if you don't know how to run by the telescope by spinning right on the d-pad and you should be staying like this and then pull up the new action menu go into style and then you guys want to equip the outfit you just saved so there it is right here go ahead and select that and then back out walk away and you should see the gas mask will merge onto this outfit just like this and now you guys want to head to the mask shop and once you make it to the mask shop you guys want to go ahead and save this outfit so go into edit saved outfits and make sure you overwrite the last one you did so make sure it still is in slot number one and then back out of this and now you guys want to press start go into online go into jobs play job rockstar created go down to missions and you guys want to start up a mission called a titan of a job now once it loads up you guys should see you have invisible arms and you should still have the gas mask on as well so now you guys want to head to the nearest ammunition store so there's one actually really close you guys can see that right there and once you make it to the gun shop you guys want to go over here to the right side and then just go ahead and overwrite the last one you did so once again make sure it still is in slot number one just like last time and then go ahead and back out of this and you guys want to go in the gear section and make sure you have the lcd earpiece you're going to be needing this earpiece for later on so make sure you do not equip it just yet but just make sure you guys have one ready so now you guys want to pull up your phone and quit the job now once you guys load back into online you guys want to head back to the mask shop and you guys will also need a street car for this so just make sure you get any street car and drive to the mask shop you guys want to call in your ballistic equipment so if you didn't buy it it is fairly expensive i guess for some people it's not for some people it is so if you don't have it just pull up your phone go to the warstock website so there it is right here ballistic equipment i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it real quick i'm pretty sure you can unlock this through research in your bunker so it's pretty easy to unlock i feel like a good amount of people already unlocked it so just go ahead and call it in if you don't know how to pull up the interaction menu go into inventory and there it is right here so there it is right here it just dropped and you guys want to get in the street car now and you guys want to push this pretty much like into the mask shop pretty much as you guys see me doing here so you guys see where i put it right about there that should be fine so you guys want to go kind of to the left of it and you guys want to get ready to spam right on the d-pad so right before you collect it you guys want to spam right on the d-pad so just like me right here and so to see if it worked you guys want to press start and pretty much load any one of these blue jobs up and if you guys don't see those blue jobs just pull up the interaction menu go into hide options go into jobs and then press on custom and press show on basically all of these so just go ahead and start any one of these up now once it loads up you guys want to go into confirm settings and go into view join players now if you guys have a juggernaut suit on it means you guys did it exactly right if you don't you have to try again so let's see if it worked and it didn't work the first time so let's go ahead and try it again I was later. So once again, I'm going to press start and load one of these jobs up. So let's go to view join players again. And we got it this time. We finally got it. It took me a good like five tries. So honestly, it's all about the timing. So my biggest tip would be go up to the top section. So we have the option on the top left. And only once you see that option on the top left, then do what I told you with the spam right d-pad right before you go into it. And you guys will get kind of like a random default outfit like this. So what you guys want to do to confirm it, it works 100%. Pull up the interaction menu and then become a CEO. And then in the CEO menu, go into to management go into style and then scroll one to the right and then one back to the left and you should see you still have it and it's gonna go away after like a second that's fine so now what you guys want to do press start go into online go into jobs play job go into rockstar created go down to versus and you guys want to start up cricket cop now once it loads up you guys want to go down to clothing and set this to player owned and then invite any one person to help you with this and go ahead and start it now once you get to the outfit selection go down to owned outfits and go one to the right once to the left and then one back to the right and you should see the juggernaut outfit is on you 
with invisible arms that's exactly what you want and then just go ahead and ready up now this is the part where you're going to be needing an earpiece so just go ahead and pull up the interaction menu and equip any earpiece pretty much so i'm going to do that right now go into style go into accessories and equip an earpiece and then get in this vehicle and you guys want to drive to the nearest clothing store and once you get in front of the nearest clothing store just go ahead and quit the job through your phone now for the very final step once you guys load back into online you guys should see you have it on go in this clothing store and you guys are now welcome to save this outfit 